Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying this quarantine life, that you're staying safe and healthy. What have y'all been up to? Leave some comments down in the comment section. I've been organizing a great deal. Yesterday I cooked some lasagna for Bay, and I should have a video that's coming or that's already up related to that, which was actually my first cook with us type video or like date night style video. I've been trying to do more vlogs for you guys since everyone's home now, but today's video is one that's actually pretty highly requested. I've gotten so many requests to do a reinstall video, and this one is actually happening because <laughs> I have recorded a tutorial for you guys on this unit from Beauty Forever. This is the box that it came in. Now, the unit is not going to look the way that it did right out of the box. I actually recorded a tutorial showing you guys the complete install on this really beautiful bob, but I accidentally deleted the file yesterday and I was so bummed because it was such a great video, but it's okay. I'm going to do a reinstall because that's what you guys have been asking for. So this unit is a 13 by 6 lace front unit. It is in 150% density. It's 14 inches and it's a shoulder length bob, which is a perfect style for the springtime. And if you're somebody like me who's protective styling, wig should be your jam right now. And this is one of those really easy to install units because it does have a middle part. And as you can see, I've already prepped this one, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can go about prepping your units easily and reinstalling them if you've already cut the lace off. Now, as you can see, it does look a little interesting right now. I do need to flat iron it. This is where the 14 inches fall on me. It seems like it's a little longer in the front. So it comes down straighter in the back and then a little tad bit longer in the front. And I really like this style a great deal. You could wear it in a number of different styles and I'm gonna show you guys that later on in this video. But in regards to restyling, if you had an elastic band, of course you could just throw the unit on and it would be really easy to install. But if you want to secure it down with some form of adhesive, you would just clean the lace off. And that's if you have a great deal of adhesive on it. So as you can see, I've already tinted the lace. I added my foundation powder to give it a little more color. And I did actually secure this unit down with an adhesive. The adhesive that I use is the bedhead spray. And if you're someone who's a beginner, I'd highly recommend this spray. It is so easy to go on and it's mess free as I've shared in another video. When you spray this on, if it falls down onto your forehead some, as it dries, it doesn't stain like some of the other adhesives. And on the lace, there isn't a lot left once you remove your unit. So there's a little bit of the adhesive still there, but not very much at all. Like you can see some of it here. There's a little bit here. And yeah, on this side, you don't even see any. So the cleanup is really easy as well. So if you wanted to clean off the lace, an easy way to do that is to use makeup wipes. These are by Neutrogena, but it really doesn't matter what brand you use. But these are the ones that I'm using. And y'all, excuse my nails. I really need to get them done, but we can't go anywhere. So they're gonna be looking really interesting for my next few videos. But what I like to do is Take a makeup wipe, and I'm gonna spritz some water on the makeup wipe. I found that adding water really helps to lift the residue. So I'm gonna spray that on, and I'm gonna just clean this area. And it should come right off. I actually did an area on this side last night, and it came off really well with this, this wipe and water. And this is an easier alternative than actually washing your lace with a shampoo. If you're somebody that's in a rush and you just wanna do it really quickly, this will be a good technique to use. There's a little bit in this area. So I'm gonna do the same. After cleaning the lace, this is how it looks. It's been cleaned well enough to be able to install it and not have to worry about any of the residue peeking through the lace. So I'm gonna show you guys how I actually tinted the lace now. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what the unit looks like on the mannequin head. All right, so you do get six inches of parting space like I shared earlier. Now on the inside, you can kind of see that there's some 
bleeding or transfer from when the knots were bleached on the actual hair, but that's an easy fix. You could just use mascara in order to spot treat those areas, or you can take a spoolie and apply a black dye or whatever color the roots are for your unit and just go in and fix those areas. So I'm just showing you guys how to do that now. So if you receive a unit that has a little bit of over bleaching on the hair, or if you bleach the notch yourself and you make that mistake, you can fix it just like this. Okay, I do wanna show you guys the pre-plugged hairline. Hopefully you're able to see it well enough, although we don't have any lace on the unit. All right, so you all can kinda see what the pre-plugged hairline looks like. But of course you can go in and customize it more to your liking, but I don't feel it's necessary being that we are gonna be wearing this unit with the middle part and with the style that I'm gonna show you guys at the end, it's been pre-plugged well enough. So now I'm just gonna turn the lace over and show you guys how I tinted the lace. Now you don't have to redo this after you've already done it, but just for the sake of helping any beginners out there, I'm gonna demonstrate how that's done. I used the lace tint by Wig Gurus, and this is in color Caramel Frappe. I love using this because it's really easy to apply. I just spray it all over the lace, and I'm just doing it again just to show you guys how I did it. Then blow dry it, and you can blow dry it on the cool setting, on the heat setting, it really doesn't matter. You're just gonna blow dry it until the lace is fully dry. Now, after the lace is fully dry, you could stop here, but I like to also go in with my foundation powder. This one is by MAC, and I'm just gonna go all over the lace, layering it with this powder. And this is gonna help to conceal any of the knots that might still be a little visible, and it's also gonna help to mute the grids. So those won't be as prominent when you use a face powder. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna flat iron the hair. The next step, if the lace was on, would be to cut the lace off in the front, but we've already done that. This is a unit that I've already worn, so I'm gonna flat iron the hair so that it's nice and straight. And I like to use my Sebastian Shaper before ever flat ironing the hair. This gives it a great deal of hold, and it also gives it a really nice shine. And this spray is also really good for flyaways. So if you're experiencing any flyaways, use the Sebastian Shaper. It'll help detain those flyaways. Okay, so now it's time to install. This is actually gonna be quite easy because we're using the bed hand. If you're someone who's a novice to the wig game or if you're a beginner, then I'd recommend using the bed head. Once again, I shared that earlier in this video, but I have to stress that guys, because this method has been a game changer. When I tell you guys, installing units has become so much faster and so much easier. It is insane. In the past, I wasn't really fond of using sprays in order to lay down my units because I felt like it took too long for it to dry, but this one dries very fast, which is pretty awesome. Okay. So we're not gonna worry about how this area looks right now. I'm gonna use my hot comb to lay that down in a minute, but everything is looking great. All right, now we're gonna lay the lace down. As you can see, it already lays really flat. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's positioned where I want it, part centered, we're ready to go. All right, so I'm just going to pull back the lace here Use a little duckbill clip in order to keep that secure and out of the way. I'm gonna spray on the bed head 
in this area. Now, if you don't have a low hairline like me, it's not gonna be sprayed on your edges. This would just be on your skin. And this product is not damaging to your hair. If you remove your unit properly, you should be okay. We're just gonna spray it here. And then just set the lace down over that area. And then blow dry. It's as simple as that. I actually wanna make sure I comb back these hairs a little bit. And I'm gonna pull this hair behind my ear to make sure everything's flat. Now, once you lay it down, you may have to go into certain areas and apply more of the bed head, but that just really depends. Sometimes you're good the first time, but there are moments where you have to go back. So just keep that in mind. And now we're gonna do the center and then move over to the left side. One thing that I really like about this unit is that there is plenty of coverage for my low hairline. So that's pretty cool. It's also really bouncy too. Okay, so now I'm gonna flatten out the hair at the top just to make sure everything looks nice and sleek and also seamless. And I'm gonna do that using my hot comb. And you also may wanna go under the top layer and add more of the holding spray. That's gonna really help to make sure everything's nice and flat. This looks so good. It looks like a silk press, y'all. All right, now that everything's all flattened out, I'm gonna add some face powder to the part. All right, y'all, these are the finished results. Y'all, this is such a classic look. I am such a fan of the bounce, how silky this hair is. This unit is tangle free. I didn't experience any shedding and the price is really good as well. Now I did get mine in length 14, but they do also have other length options. I believe you can get it as short as eight inches and that's gonna look really cute too. Y'all, it's warmed up outside and bobs are gonna be it for this season. You can wear it in a number of different styles and I'm gonna show you guys those now. So let's do this. Just know I'll 
Y'all, I'm really feeling this 90s vibe hairstyle. It's so cute. Don't y'all love it? So as you all can see, this unit is very versatile. I really like that a great deal. I hope that you all enjoyed seeing a reinstall video and you found it very helpful. Be sure to check the description box for all the links and specifications for this unit. I do also have a discount code provided in the description box for you guys. So be sure to check it out. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. Be sure to like this video, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. I got what you need, just go.